Hello and welcome to another episode of Reseller Information Network. Uh, we're here today, always, uh, joined by Cernok, Leroy, Tim. Uh, we have actually got some exciting news today that we're going to be talking about. Uh, by the time you guys see this, we'll be on our way towards March Madness. Uh, so I think uh, the tournament should be live at this point uh, in that sense. So uh, if you're watching this and you're a part of it, good luck because uh, Leroy's looking to take the title this year uh, just yep. to, you know, in the first annual. Your bracket is already busted by this point. Yeah, yeah, more than likely mine is. Uh, but if we if we look at that, so it's something we got going on, and we're also doing a little a little bit of transition on the one stop shop. So stay tuned for more news uh, concerning that. Hopefully, you've heard it at, at this point. But if not, go back and watch. Uh, check out the one stop shop. So uh, we do uh, thank you guys for all joining us at all. As always, I did want to get to a couple comments that we had this week. Uh, one of which is giving obviously Leroy a hard time. Uh, once again, Trash Cat Rescue says, "My guys, thank you for this episode and all others. I've been stuck in a depressive ep episode and am having a hard time. Time to knock the dust off and get back to it." Also, I'm not posting on One Stop Shop until Leroy does. No pressure, Leroy, but that's from Kristen. <laughs> so we've been giving Leroy a hard time about One Stop Shop, but he's on his way, guys. We're we're gonna have a little get together. Uh, he's gonna be. I think we're gonna have an intervention. Is what's gonna really happen? Yeah, they get together. <laughs> but that, 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 it's, it's gonna be an intervention, and they're gonna yeah. hang me by my feet, and I, they're, gonna, they're gonna they're gonna IV me, Ivan. Meaning, <laughs> I mean, yeah. and and I'm gonna have no choice. Like, I'm gonna wake up in the morning. I'm gonna get text messages from Ivan. How many did you list today, blood? How many did you list today, blood? How's those tools going? Tool talk. How's those tools? I can hear it in my head. <laughs> oh man, Leroy will be doing live sales from the flea market uh, before it's over with. Uh, we'll be talking about it. But also, <laughs> I did have a couple more. Uh, uh, comments. One, uh, Vintage Sports Flips, Keith says, great stuff, guys. Great messages to people needing encouragement. For me, it's all about setting goals for myself, whether it's daily listing goals, selling goals, YouTube video editing goals. Even if a day goes by without great sales, if you accomplish some of these those goals, like your listings, you feel the same sense of accomplishment, and it also helps your business. Uh, Cody, Colby Blankenhagen, 3717 says, thanks for sharing, folks. So many similarities here. I went full-time this year, quit a solid job at the career high, was tired of missing out on life. Now, by God's grace, I can be more involved in raising my child, having a deeper family life, healthier church involvement. With three months into full-time, just uh, insulated and walled the garage for new workspace. Trust in the Lord. Enjoy the ride. And Black Sheep Society, shout out, Brad. My advice and encouragement is keep showing up. When you want to quit, quit, keep showing up. When everything is good, keep showing up. When you don't find anything amazing while you're outsourcing, keep showing up. Just apply that idea to every area of life. Keep showing up. It changes your future. It'll change your life. Hey, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I thought I was. I went back and I was reading all those comments from the last episode, and I thought it was a lot of, a lot of really good uh, comments and, and stuff from people. I thought both Brad and Keith really nailed uh, some important things there, as far as like goals, and then the whole keep showing up. Like sometimes it's easy to not show up, and you know it. It, it really does make a difference. It, attitude wise just like you know talking yourself into it because sometimes it's like you will go out and like the first yard sale or second yard sale third yard sale like you don't find anything like it's real easy to be like i'm just gonna go home but if you go to like the fourth and fifth one you might have actually found something that was really worth it and made the whole day worth it so i thought that those were really good points yeah, it's good to hear from uh, other guys, too, because we all know. I mean, honestly, we're not that different anybody, uh, even though we are completely different personality wise, a lot of us. But what happens with all of us, if you're involved in this type of business and it's, you know, basically it's dependent on you, regardless what 
everybody says uh, eBay actually does not control everything about your life. Um, you you actually have some responsibility yourself you have to deal with. But uh, we, we do look at, at this thing and say, man, it really is just keep being consistent, keep doing the work. And if you do, it, it'll work out. It'll get there. If not, you just go to One Stop Shop. We'll sell over there. No problem. <laughs> we do want to take time to uh, thank our team members. So I'll let Tim take a deep breath. And then... Yeah, my head hurts a little bit, so we might we might uh, do like a calm one right now. Okay, calm. Okay, I got you. Soothing. The soothing. soothing. We want to thank all of our channel members: A Z Katsu, Simply Shenanigans Shanna, Diane Matthews, our very own Blood Sweat and Soul, Trash Cat Rescue, New England Betty Boo, Joe Deals. Old school pickers, vintage sport foods, cherries, terrific finds, Kathleen, the Fernway Flipper, Ohio pickers, Annette and Frank, rudely retro, absolute fine, Des Hardy, Heather Peddler, James Steinberger, Old Past, High Plains Flipper, Walter. Silton, Black Sheep Society, Def Pow Pickup, Mark Rollins, Tracer James Trading, Aaron Vaughn, Central Iowa Picker, Wiggle Room Nine, and Buck Mountain Vaughn. Thank you for being members of the One Stop Shop. I mean, We Sell Information Network. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of those guys are one-stop shop folks too. So uh, we do thank each and every one of you guys for the, being a part of that. So today we're going to be talking something that, you know, oftentimes we look at and say, what can we do to improve sales? And we talk about it often, title, picture, you know, we, we talk about the things that you can do by improving your picture and improving your title. Uh, but also, this is one that it actually reaches down and touches not the heart, but the wallet. Um, <laughs> when when you do this, it's like one of those necessary evils, right? Like we don't want to pay out any more than we have to. But see, eBay does this thing. It's called promoted listings. And I know that there are folks that are on all sides of the fence of this. Even amongst our panel here, we may do things a little differently. But what I can tell you about promoted listings, if you don't promote, you better have another way to promote. <laughs> All of us, there's none of us here on this panel, even though uh, Tim has quickly grown into a YouTube uh, phenom. But uh, <laughs> quickly, I say, after four or five years like the rest of us, but he finally has, has tapped into something over there at Over the Years Sports. If you're not subscribed, go check that out. But uh, when we look at this, it, if you don't have a way to promote, like if you don't have a massive Instagram, a massive TikTok, a massive uh, YouTube, then you're going to have to promote like the rest of us. And when you're talking promotion, I know there's people that say you don't have to promote. It's true. You don't have to promote. Businesses don't have to advertise. They don't have to. But if you want to get more business, it's just a way to do it. So we're actually going to be talking about promotion. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is kind of go around and ask, like, what do you guys promote? How do you promote um, your listings on eBay? And we'll start with Sernot. So... <clears throat> Listen, I, I am all about promoting my items. And I, I kind of think I think that, um, you know, I like to use the tools that eBay gives me. And eBay gives you tools kind of for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So I always kind of like think about that, you know, where it's like, hey, you know, anything to get my, you know, get my stuff in front of the more people, I'm going to try to use. Okay. If it works for me, I think promoted listings works for me as well. I do anywhere from around like seven to 10% on all of my listings. Now you'll hear people say, Oh, you don't have to promote all your listings. I choose just to do it. Just a blanket, like boom. Cause you know, you never, 
because I always say this, you never know what needs promoting and what doesn't. Okay. Because, you know, some people will say, well, how do you know, you know, like, there's no competition in this marketplace for this. Well, guess what? You, you the people that are l maybe looking for your item may not be looking for it the right way, but if you're doing a promoted listing, sometimes eBay will be like, Hey, yeah, that was this, but Hey, we have this promoted listing. Boom. Yours might be go right to the top and it's, and people go, Oh yeah, that's, that's closer to what I was thinking. So that's what, that's why I always promote everything. Um, and I, I always just think about it. It's just the cost of business. Just like, just like if you were another type of business, not like an online reselling, but just, you know, a storefront, you know, you're still paying a marketing budget a advertising budget, all those things you're still doing in different ways. So uh, that's how I think about it. And yeah, so what I'll do is I do it. I do a monthly promotion. I do third, you know, however, you know, long the month is I'll do, I'll do that. Uh, and then, you know, and then I'll re and then I'll re uh, up the promotion after uh, the month's end. Cause I have like my promoted listings doing that. And then I have also my like markdown sale uh, doing that as well. So all those things are working on a month long basis and then I'll end, you know, and then it ends and then I'll, I'll start a new every single month. Like, so my markdown sale, my promoted listings and my coupon, I, I do that on a monthly basis. Lee so what are you doing currently? I know we're going to be talking later on about what we're doing to change, but what are you doing currently? I, f until the beginning of this year, I did whatever they told me to do. So if they said 20%, I was doing 20%. Whatever the suggestion was is what I've always done. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just tired of doing that. Um, I'm not trying anything. I just want to do it at 5%. Um, it just seems like every time you put it at a certain percent, I do scrub through my my listings, and you guys know that. If you go back into Reseller Information Network, there's other videos that talk about how we all um, relist and list and stuff like that, and I do go through mine three times a year. And every time I go through mine three times a year, it's always bringing it up higher and higher and higher. And I'm just, I'm just going to make a standstill it might hurt me, but I'm going to make a standstill and stop it um, because I feel like there is an algorithm um, and I feel like the more we keep leading into certain things, they go up higher and higher. It's just like your cell phone. Uh, we're talking about peanut butter and then later on you guys are going to have messages on your phone about peanut butter. So, yep. I just got a GIF ad as we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, so what are you doing with promoted listings? So um, I also promote every single listing. I thought that I, you know, some people always ask and, you know, I always have a different answer, I feel like, but I never really thought about it from the perspective that Cernoff kind of just dropped. I thought that was a, a, a great point about how, you know, people say, oh, you don't need to promote mm -hmm. this. And then, but when Cernoff just said that, it kind of like, I was like, that's a great point. Like I never really thought about it from that perspective. Uh, but yeah, I promote everything. Uh, for me, it's just a cost of doing business. It's uh, you know, it's a write-off, and it um, it, it's part of playing the game. Like I, you hate to to see it, but I mean, you're paying to play, right? No matter where you sell, you're gonna have to pay some sort of fee, some sort of. I, I'll tell you that the Etsy promoted listings on Etsy got outrageous. Like, if you want to complain about eBay promoted listings, Etsy forces off-site ad promotions. So if I sell something off-site on Etsy, I get uh, taxed on it, basically, by Etsy. And it's an insane amount of money sometimes. So for me, I promote every single listing. I promote every single listing at 9.6%. Um, sometimes I might fiddle with that nine, four, nine, seven. Uh, I have done experimented sometimes I did a, a little experiment not too long ago. Uh, I guess it was a long time ago. Time goes by so fast. I think it was probably like in December ish, maybe like either before like the Christmas rush or after Christmas rush, but I saw Joe Philly picker <clears throat> talking about how he was doing it on um pocket change podcast 
and he, I so I tried. I did a little bit of the dynamic stuff, like capping and the dynamic and capping it. But uh, I didn't notice a crazy difference, so I, I kind of just went back to the normal way. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm currently nine point six percent. Everything's promoted, but I run my promoted listings to run from three to f- either three or four days. Generally, four days. Um, I will run my promoted listings, and then I end it. And then restart it for another four days. Um, that's my method that I I learned early on, and I've kind of always stuck with it. Like if for my analytics, especially if you're inconsistent with listing, I think it, I think with inconsistency and in listing, the promoted listings like restarting it really helps because if you look at your graph, like uh, your impressions and stuff like that. Uh, it, it generally will go down on the promoted listings, especially if you're not listing. Like say you go like a day or two without listing, it'll keep it just drops after a certain point. But if you if you list, it, it'll give you a little bump because the organic uh, impressions will bump, and in, with the organic from organic impressions bump, it also bumps your promoted uh, listing impressions. So for me. That's what I do. 9.6 across the board, every single item. Uh, I think also what Leroy was talking about too is super important because if you notice, like when I'm listing, like Eric and I had this brief conversation before we went live. He was like, yeah, I saw something at 4%. I was like, I have, I have not, it has been so long since I have seen a category. I've listed in a category that had under 10% uh, suggested uh promoted so i i mean i see some that are like 13 14 percent that i posted and i'm just Hi. like at that point it's like it's it, it just it's too crazy like at some point we're gonna have to stop right and the reason why it's happening too is like more people are seeing that and they're like it's like a fomo they're like oh well my item's not gonna get listed so i'm gonna go i'm gonna one up it i'm gonna go 14 percent, and then it's just like at one point, like at some point, you're gonna be paying twenty percent, and on top of the regular fees that you're paying, now you're looking at like 35 percent off of your item. Like it's just, it, it seems crazy to me. So like, I, and I think that you know, it's it's almost like the opposite of racing to the bottom when when people are selling stuff. Like we talked about uh, on a show recently, you know, when it comes to like especially retail arbitrage, it's like the race to the bottom versus like. It, it's so weird because it, like you're just doing all of this and you're not making any money because you're like you're lowering the cost of your your item to be the cheapest and you're spending the most the highest percentage to promote it it doesn't make any sense at all like think about that like that's just kind of crazy to really wrap your brain around like say you promote something at 15% and you have the lowest the lowest uh, price of the, all the items that item listed. Like, yeah, you might sell it fast, but unless you're losing so much money that way. So for me, that's, that's what I'm doing. I know I kind of went on a little rant there, but yeah, that's, that's me. I rant. Mm-mm. All right. So I do it different than all these guys. Uh, to be honest, I, I saw the same episode that, uh, Tim saw about the dynamic listing and uh, the dynamic promotion. Dynamic, the dynamic promotion. So like me over there, Eric. I know, right? They saw that Star Wars talk that they got. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, when when we look at, um, I, I'll just I'm gonna just tell you a couple things that just for me, I'm actually in eBay's back room. Anybody can see the same thing I see, um, but um. Let's see. I'll just go ahead and share a screen. It's fine. But I just want to talk just briefly, just knowing the difference between dynamic and not dynamic. Um, there's some things when it comes to dynamic listing. Let's see if we can pull it up. Uh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, when we look at this, um, can you guys see that or not? Glasses. So the question is, what's the difference between dynamic and fixed ad rate strategies, which is what these guys have been talking about. Uh, dynamic ad rate actually automatically updates each one of your listings 
uh, to eBay's daily suggestions, depending on how competitive that category is, it goes up and down on the daily because uh, things sell every day. Things are added to the to the marketplace every day. So if you're in a category that is highly competitive, obviously you're going to pay a higher rate. Um, but also what it says is your ad rate won't change once it has been set manually if you're using fixed until you change it. But with dynamic, it does change daily. So essentially like what they're talking about, about refreshing your listing, it actually does that uh, when it changes the ad rate. It'd be just like if you went in, uh, I know years ago, the suggestion was to go in every every few days and change your ad rate, right? Move it up or down uh, just to get a little different pop. But uh, that's one thing that, that's a little different when you do dynamic. Now, I have exper been experimenting a little bit with the dynamic. Now, I know there's lots of factors when you talk about sales, right? Like we can't just limit that to one or two items or one or two things. We have to uh, look at various things. So I just want to show you guys um, this is on mine, what it looks like on the back end. And this is where I got the 4% that I was talking to Tim about. So this it has been my ad rate on the current items I have as of today. So obviously the high end sucks, right? 17.6%. Yeah. That's a lot. Oof. But then if the the low is four, but mine averages around 11 to 12 typically is, is about what it comes out as. And you don't set a cap on, on yours when you're doing it. That's just flat. 11, it's about 11%. So uh, let me ask you this: When you do when when you're doing it like this, right? Because I know there's an option where it's like. Uh, so if I, I went right here to update. I'll show you what this looks like. See if it is that popping up on your screen. Yeah. Okay. So this is what you can do. If you want to set an ad cap rate, you could do the same as what you guys are doing. If you want to, you can do a max percentage. Like this is the most I want to pay. Like if yeah. Tim says I want to do set ad cap rate. Of 25 percent nah well, no <laughs> but if you wanted to do like 9.6 hey there you go now you're set so your dynamic rate will the top that it'll go is 9.6 so if i applied this to mine right now watch what happens to the current ad rate up top it's going to change it down to 9.6 see now so but the is the important. percentage sorry Leroy, last question is the percentage though that you the dynamic rate is it the going it's matching the highest percentage that's promoted in that category or is it one so percent here's here's the suggested so like if you're rolling down right here like you see this it has today's suggested ad rate 11.6 on this item and here it's showing 9.6 that's the most that i'm going to pay is out is 9.6 yeah. changed it like that but if so, you don't have a cap on it, will it promote? It's going to go to whatever this is right here. Highest is the 11.6. 11.6, 9.6 on this item. Somewhere <laughs> amongst this list, there's something at 4% because it's showing up as 4. I, can, you, can you sort it by by the. You won't. I tried to do it earlier because I was looking for you. Your, uh, so I gotta know what the four percent it's gotta be. Yeah, it's on something. It's it, I mean it's probably like a one on one more than likely, like something that's just not out there. But I wish I knew I wish I could tell you what it is. I mean, so far the lowest I've seen is nine on, on one of these pages. Hold on, I'm gonna let Leroy answer ask his question before he forgets because I know All I right, go ahead, Leroy. It, and then I gotta ask something else. I, I, I got a commercial break, then I got a question, okay? For me eBay is looking like a chessboard, okay? It starts off, you got a pawn, then you got a rook, then you got a knight, then you have a, where is it? Then you got a bishop, then you have a queen, then you got a king. So there's kings of eBay. <laughs> there are kings of eBay. And there's, and there's, there's rooks of eBay. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm the pawn of eBay. I really do. I'm like on the bottom of the level, but they're also kings and queens of eBay. Just in case you guys didn't know that. I want to get that out there. Um, Eric, where where did you how what I need I'm to gonna, do? This. I'm gonna get you there. I'll get you there. Okay, no, okay. so that before we get to there though, I so I wonder if there's certain days that you should list certain categories on 
Hey, no. I'll just tell you right now, and looking at the advertising right now, Golf Club suggested ad rate 7.9%. Yeah, I noticed that the, uh, as I was listing Golf Club the other day that it was low. So here's, here's I guess, here's the thought process, though, too. Like in thinking about dynamic, if this is changing every day, and, and but if you just do a flat rate, like say, Tim, like if you're doing 9.6% and that's your flat rate, when you're listing golf clubs, if you're at 9.6, you're actually like 2% over the, whatever the market is yeah. at this point. So now, I mean, now on the other side, like you're, you're under what other things are. Yeah. Like, so um, it's, it's interesting because it, so does the, the rate change is like, it's like a sports betting where like, if a lot of people start betting on one team, it changes the spread to, I think it'd like, probably be more along the lines of what's listed, right? So, like, so like it, it, is it what's listed or is it how many people are promoting? Because if more, if everybody started promoting at 9% in in golf clubs, that number is going to change from 7.9 to, to 9%. I'm sure what they're doing, uh, one of the things I'd read in here is they actually shop your, they're shopping their advertising rates. So like they're they're getting a little better deal on some of the stuff I'm sure. I'd love to know if people, if anybody, does, does any of you guys know anybody who's used paid for paper? So here's it says paper? what are dynamic ad rates? Um, it goes. You don't need to manually update your listings. You can keep them competitive with the market. Uh, dynamic ad rates are calculated based on a variety of factors, including item attributes, seasonality, past performance current competition in order to find the optimal balance between performance and costs. So that's eBay's answer. Do you, any of you know anybody who does pay for click promotions? I tried it for about a day and I didn't really. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't go nuts with it. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I was scared of, it. I actually, didn't we get like a coupon or something for a, a certain amount a while back. I don't know. That's when I tried it. Mm -hmm. Was when I got that coupon. So that's what it is. But yeah, I mean, so that's what I, I just recently started doing that though, because I did watch the episode of those those guys that Dan don't want to be associated with. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 um they're actually experimenting now because that episode was a while back, but they did an episode recently where they were talking about promoted listings and they're they're Jimmy's doing a lot of experimenting with it too. He he had brought up an interesting point on their I think it was their last episode where he was like um what he was gonna try to do was instead of it was like a offers and promotions or like um sale inverse promotion where like instead of running a sale on his items he was going so say like he was running like a 10 percent sale right for example instead of running the 10 percent off sale he was going to use that 10 percent towards promoted listings yeah yeah and seeing if if it if it um changed changed things that way which i thought was an interesting i think that's cool that we, that's something that we should I generally do a lot of like, and I think I know Cernok. I, I'm pretty sure you know, and Leroy is doing it right now too. And Eric is experimenting sometimes. Sometimes you just got to throw a wrench in there, you know. Leroy, is, I'm sure he's got plenty of wrenches to throw, and you know, just experiment a little bit, throw stuff against the wall, and see what sticks. I think that, that that's important. So uh, I'm interested to see if Jimmy talks about that on when on their new uh, episode to see how that works because I thought that was an interesting sort of experiment you could do too guys that is the pocket change podcast in case you're not sure who we're talking about jimmy Dan. so that's that's free promotion we'll, we'll hit them up later for some uh you know. yeah that's a promoted ad right there we're, yeah, that's yeah. a nine that's definitely a 9.6 or uh yeah. jimmy are we Jimmy's. allowed to say pocket change podcast we said dan's name including with that He's not part of Pocket yeah. Change podcast, yeah. right? The Pocket, He's the pocket side Change. Pocket. Dan He's and the Pocket Changes. Yeah. He's the side pocket. Like, is that, He's so the is, is Dan like, is Dan, like a, is Dan Pocket Lint? 
podcast? Yeah. Is he like the lint in the pocket podcast? I don't know. Pocket I think lint. he's like maybe the cargo shorts. Like he's not in the front or the back pocket. He's on the side pocket. He's on the side. Dude, yeah. uh, speaking of cargo shorts, I can't wait to wear my fishing vest that I got from Eric. Uh, oh, Joe Camel? Yard sale. Yeah, you definitely need, if, if we're going to the hill country, yeah, yeah, definitely uh, in the VA area. No shirt underneath, just a fishing jacket. Fishing jacket, bucket hat. That'd be that'd be the combo right oh there. Oh my god! And I and I got and I have to buy, my whole trip. I gotta buy pink stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, not yet. Hey, if he wears no shirt, your pink stuff will be matching Tim's chest. <laughs> 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 it would be rather quick. All right. So we're going to answer the uh, – I know Leroy has been anxiously awaiting, uh, like, how, the how-to section with – so how do we get to this on eBay, and how do we fix our promoted listings? So we'll let, we'll let the, uh, the emperor of e-commerce uh, – <laughs> is, he, is he at night? Is he a knight? Is he a pawn? Is he a bishop? He's or an emperor. He... His yeah. piece ain't even he's out of the emperor. He's on a different board, Leroy. He's on a different yeah. board than uh, that. Tim, Tim and I have pawns. Yeah. I, think I, know, man, I, kinda, I got the rook. I got the rook going right now. Yeah. Joker. I'm the emperor with no clothes. Wait, yeah. with all the clothes. Now, wait. All right. Leroy, you messed me with the. What, what, now, what am I. What's the. What's, Let's show Leroy how to get to his, his uh, ad. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool. Yeah. How do you yeah. change your ad? What does that look like? Uh, right, you so got to do it at Leroy's speed. So don't go over here going, Eric. Well, uh, then, so I'm gonna show. So I'm gonna show how I do it, right? How I do my promotions. So go to your seller hub. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm here. Right? Yeah, Eric, We're, you can narrate. We're here. And I'll tell I'll, you I go, I'm not at Cell Hub yet. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and um, oh, so if you go to marketing advertising right, dashboard, go ahead. Okay, advertising dashboard, that's where okay. you're gonna do. That's where we're gonna be doing our promoted listings. Now I currently have one going on right now. Okay, right here. So we're just gonna I'm gonna show you just like how I do it. Create a new. So they have now these these right here. These are the 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 the, the uh, what, what do we call it the pay to play, you know, yeah. pay per click and everything like that. Now you have some other ones, but I'm gonna show you how what I do. I just keep it very simple and concise. Now you have simple, automated, and bulk. I like to do automated right here, so we're gonna click on automated. And I'm not there. I, I'm I'm already lost. I'm still at the lady. Lost? I'm still at the lady reading the book. <laughs> So we're going to go to new campaign right here. Okay. Boom. Start date end date. Now, usually what I said, I'll start it like on the first because that's when, it, you know, they all end. So when I wake up, whenever I wake up on like April 1st, I'll be like, oh, I've got to redo. So I'll be doing this exact thing. Um, so and then I just do like, like I said, I do all, you know, all categories. So it's like, you know, uh, you, you, you can pick all or, you know, um, and then down here. That's where we were talking about the dynamic ad rate or your fixed ad rate, okay? Um, and that's where, like, if you did a dynamic ad rate, you could set your now. Now you got to read it, okay? Um, but that yeah, this is don't put at. nine or ten percent in that thing, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is where your dynamic ad rate goes right here, and this is where your ad rate cap goes. Now your cap is the highest you want it to ever hit. Okay, so if you're like, hey, I don't want anything over 12%, so you put 12% as your ad cap right here. Now, what I do is I just do a fixed rate, and I'll just do 9% right there. And basically it's saying do 9% promoted listings on all my categories from this date to this date, launch it, and you're done. Does that make sense, Leroy? No, I'm still at the lady with the book. Lady with the book? <laughs> so, so so yeah so basically you're setting your date and then i do all and then i do the fixed ad rate i think i'm I, i've been playing with like 
seven, nine percent. I think I'm doing nine percent right now. So that's 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 what my stuff uh, looks like uh, here at Chernox Connection. All right. Um, if I go to marketing, right, then I go to advertising dashboard. Yeah. What do I go? What do I go next? Oh, here. Let me let me get it back up. Let's see. Do... Yeah, you're gonna go to marketing dashboard, and then you're gonna hit create new campaign. It's where all do you see? Where do you it's see all... that? It's on all... here. Let's. All right. I think I think we're one step back. So we're going to go one step back. And one more step back. Okay. So right here, are you at this? Uh, oh, yes. lady reading the book. Right here, yeah. create new campaign. You see that? What? No. Where'd you on put my it? Screen, on my screen. Create new campaign to the side. It's a, is it on the sidebar? No, it's on the other side. It's the only like big blue button. Oh, duh. Okay. Create new campaign. So okay. let's click on yeah. that together. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Now and I got that. I mean, okay. Now, okay. Now the thing is on this first one, promoted standard listing standard. Again, you have simple automated and bulk. Okay. I mean, simple, I mean, simple kind of does the same thing too. Uh, you can, you, you know, you can, you can find more categories and stuff like that. Um, you know, I just want to put them all at a percentage, like say, yeah, 5%. So, so we're going to go to the middle option. We're okay. I got to I get started. Get started. Automated. So click the automated one. Um, um, automated. Okay. There you go. Yep. And then you should already have a campaign name in there. It and just says. It says to, I got to put one. No, um, it should say campaign name, blah blah blah. Yeah, you know, it just says campaign name. That you don't, you don't need, you don't need a. And then you, your dates, you can, you can put. So I would, you know what, Leroy, if you're going to start this one, why don't you run until the end of the month? Okay, run until the end of the month. So just do. Um, I did till April thirtieth. April thirtieth or March thirtieth. I, I did I did till April, so I did okay. I did for yeah okay. for a little yeah. over a month. And then it should say all categories right here. Um, yeah, it should already be listed. Um, now mine says zero because I already have one running, but it should say all categories. Add listings. All categories. There we go. Yep. And then right. it says dynamic ad rate and then fixed ad rate. So um, hit, you don't want to do a dynamic ad rate. We're just going to do a fixed ad rate. And what, what percentage did you decide on what you were? Where I, I might be a page ahead of you or behind you. Um, no, you just need you to scroll all, down. You need to scroll down. Choose your ad certain, rate strategy. Um, We should have just shared Leroy's screen. We still can. Yeah, it'll be easier. We'll be able to. Let me see if I can do that. Eric, you still searching for that 4%? <laughs> They're muted, Eric. He's muted. He, is. he must be on the phone with somebody. Yeah, he might be. Now I ran the... Uh... I ran uh, my printer for a second, so I turned it off. All right, Leroy, let's see what yours looks like. Hey, it's Mosaic Basketball Pack. Um, That's so weird. 2021-22 Mosaic NBA Basketball Blaster Pack, 4.5%. For some reason, Sonok, I can't get... Um, Why are you buying labels? Me? No, it's printing labels. No, Leroy has labels up here. No, no, that, uh, I don't. That's not me. It's under your name. 
Oh. You know what? Forget it. I can't do this. I'm yeah, what do you mean? Let's go. We're going to do it. I'm having a hot t- I, You guys don't realize this is this is why I can't even get in a district. It, it's it's so much hotter for me than anybody All right, else. What, what, where's the page I, you were on? Where were, you, where, were the page, where was the page you were on? It, it, I, it's not even letting me. Um, it's not even letting me share the screen. When oh, I right share there. the screen, right there. Okay, that's where I want to be. All right. So now, where do I go? Hit back on. Hit back on that page. Hit back on that page. Just hit back. We're gonna start over. All right, right there. Perfect. Oh, okay, okay. So create new campaign. Yep, Blue yeah. dot right there. Bam. Okay. And then promote the promoted listing standard is the first one. First the one. First one or the second the one. First one. Okay. Yep. And click that. And then you, it's going to go to the middle one, automated. Yep. Right there. Got it. Uh huh. So there's your campaign name. You don't need to change that. Your date. If you hit the little little date box yeah. right there, bam. I'm just going to go. Do, I'll, do, I'll it to, like do it to the end of this month. And we're, we're going to see. Yep. Yeah. So, and then scroll down. Okay. And then that, there we go, right here. Uh, now, 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 scroll down more. Scroll down more. Fixed ad rate. That's where we're going to go to. There we go. And then, what percentage did you want? Are you? Are we going to promote that? Twenty-five percent, Leroy. Do it. Seven. Yeah, twenty-three. Twenty-three percent, like Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And, and then launch. Whoa! Before you hit launch, before let's just go back up. Click that, click that where it says categories right there. All right there. Click that. Click where it says collectible. Take that out. Yeah. But you got to click the all one back. Okay. Wait a minute. What in the world? Something right. Go hit that, hit that drop down again. Let me see something. Go to your store. Hit hit store categories. I like that. It's showing that you only have one listing in your whole store. That's weird. Yeah, that's that's weird. Can cancel that. Go back to the screen before. You might have to go to his current campaign and see. Wait, do you already have a current campaign running? I don't know. Hit uh go back from where you're at. Right all right, scroll, 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 scroll down. down all the way. Like no, 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 like no, 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 no on that screen right there, scroll down. Yeah, keep going. No. Yeah, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You you go have edit. Go to edit on that top one. You have four campaigns running right now, or three Ooh. campaigns. Yeah, just go and, in, end all those. End those. Oh, we, we're we're hooking Leroy. Leroy about ready to have a whole new eBay game now. All right, now get back to create camp, new campaign. It might take a minute before you can um. All right, over no, no, over here, the blue button all the way on the right. At the top, it might take a minute for those listings to 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 end before you can rerun the new one. Though, I hate how they do that. This is what you call one on one, guys. Wait, it's still showing that. Yeah, that's hey, why I said it. Go, we'll go, go back. Um, go back to the um, hit cancel right there. Because it, it takes a time, a little bit of time for it to end before you can re restart all the new promoter listings. Like usually, like 10, 15 minutes. I know this because it happens to me every time I end it every three well, days. I know how to do this part now. I did it six times. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, so we can get out. Yeah. So yeah, and then what you'll do is, and then you'll just go in there, boom, launch it. And then, and then you'll be set. You'll be set. So the only thing is you've got, you've got to remember, you've got to remember at the end of the month 
to uh, to re- restart it over. Okay. And that always gives me well, kind of It's weird that I had campaigns running. I, I do sales. That's the only thing I know how to do. I don't. Because what, what's probably been happening is uh, when you, every time you like add a new, a new listing, Mm-hmm. And you're promoting it like uh, you fill in that little spot at the end of the listing where you put in your promoted percentage. That's cr- in itself is creating a new campaign. Yep. They go down four and a half percent. What's the category? It's a basketball card. I understand that, but what's the category? Uh... Because that's like crazy to me. Because like those categories are usually one of the more the higher Skilled trading card boxes. Oh, that's why. Because you're in the wrong category. What for a sealed box? Trading yeah. Card? Skilled cards. That's a, like no sealed. Sealed. Oh, sealed what? Sports, sports memorabilia, cards and fan shops, sports trading cards, sealed trading card boxes. But it's just a pack. It's not a box. That's a box. I thought you said it was a pack. It's a box. That's crazy. That, that... Yeah, that's it, bro. So now you know. There you go. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. So, I mean, that would be my question for, I mean, obviously, like like we were discussing earlier, most of the categories are higher than that, than what Leroy is doing at 7%. But I guess the option would be if you can cap your dynamic at whatever you want to pay, you could possibly pay less, but you could never pay more. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. And that's, I've seen that before. But if you're at fixed, you're going to pay the same all the time. So it's a fixed cost. Like, you know what it is. So. I always feel like, and, and, I, and it's not true, but I always feel like it doesn't go down. It always, you know, it's like, yeah. it, you know. Well, I've been watching mine just to see what my average would be. And like I said, it is usually between that 11, on a monthly basis, it's usually between 11 and 12%. Yeah. Yep. It, it's where and it I'm should thinking. tell you on every item sold what the percentage is. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. If you go into it your does. solds, yeah, it will. Yeah, it does. Like, I mean, just like I, I'm, sh- that thing I'm showing you right now is my listing as of today. Like, these are the listing rates as of today. What I would be curious to look at would be, I would be curious to know what your average promoted percentage is on items sold. Yeah, I mean, you get that monthly because you uh, like. But, well, you saying, get it like but not like necessarily monthly. I want to know, like, because okay, well, what so I'm saying they, is it's usually between it's usually between eleven and twelve percent is what, like my when I when I see my stuff, like my payouts, that kind of stuff, and I see what it is, like it's usually yeah. But but what I'm trying to get at is is. Is only your higher per- percentage promoted items selling? Are there any ones like what's the what's the percentage of of items that are selling under nine percent promoted versus the items the amount of items that are selling over nine percent? Yeah. So like I mean, your average might be eleven percent, right? But let's say you sold seven items, six of those items sold at like thirteen. 12, 11%, and one of your items sold for 7% promoted. It's yeah. almost like they're only you're only selling the ones that are promoting at that high end range. It's not it's not really doing the trick on the lower the lower promoted items, even though you're still promoting at that level that the 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 items are promoting at. Does it make yeah. sense? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This, I mean, this report's pretty interesting, like to look at that because it does have all kinds of stuff that's not like on the normal. Like when you look at that that report that talks about this campaign particular, like so you see like all this green and red going on. 
like impressions being up or down depending on what it is so some of them it kind of shows you a little bit about what's going on with some holy cow the barbie impressions are through the roof but no one's clicking on it <laughs> that's kind of kind of wild so i don't know i personally usually don't dive too deep into it but it is one of those things that obviously we know like we yeah. said in the like here, here's the one thing you can go in and look at all the data you know what i'm saying for this stuff i mean you can, you can go in and look at your impression you can look at your this and that and, this. and you can get stuck there you know what i'm saying like a lot of people get stuck there trying to go well, if I did just did this and I did this and I <laughs> this here and I I get I get uh, maybe maybe uh, run a four point five you know you you can do all that but at the end of the day is it all kind of goes back to TPP you know what I'm saying yeah. this, this is that added like this is that, that like kind of like title price picture promotion TPP PP <laughs> yeah yeah you know make sure all that stuff is good and then adding on it this you know to for a little more is your promotion yeah yeah because you can't yeah. just stick an item in front of a door and take a picture and promote it at 15 percent and think that you're just gonna you know be the king and, and sell things you know like you what if you what if you're a rook <laughs> what if you're a rook right and you sell it on a blue background right and you just sell tools and then you ask your friends to help you fix it and then you want to quit what if you do it that way? Then you know what you do? Then you're the rook of reselling. I'm going to be the rook of eBay. I'm going to be the rook. You got to just you, you just show up, Leroy, like Brad said. When you, you want to quit, show up. show up. Hey, cuz I like what what Sarnat was saying. So that old saying paralysis by analysis, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're too busy looking at all the numbers. You're not really putting the work in and you're like I'm not sure why Basically, your efforts are in the wrong place. Uh, essentially, when you look at paralysis by analysis, but yeah, uh... so guys, that's pretty much what we have today. Is <laughs> you can learn with us <laughs> about promoted listing. I thought that was good. I thought play around with good. it, man. Play around with it. Like you never know what yeah. will happen. Don't be afraid. Shout to, to Leroy. This yeah. was this is the Leroy Leroy sponsor episode. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> He's the exclusive podcast, Leroy. Blood, sweat, and podcast. That's, that's what's coming next. <laughs> Today. Woo! Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, we do appreciate each and every one of you guys that are, have been here and put up with our nonsense. And, and hopefully you did learn something. Uh, today, hopefully you did uh, pick up a, a nugget or two, maybe what to do, maybe know what not to do. But uh, when when you're looking at your reselling as a whole, it's just like we started out the show with advertising is a part of business. It happens every day. We know we get ads to us every day. So hopefully when you're talking about reselling, maybe, maybe Google will suggest reselling information network to you. And you can come and check us out. So uh, we we do thank you guys for being here. We're going to go around the horn, even though we're not in order. We'll just go around. And uh, wow. let's go, Leroy. Leroy, say some goodbyes or, or rooks or knights or chessboards or whatever you got going on. Guys, um, thank you for coming out. Um, if we have no fans next week, <laughs> um, we still love you. We still love you. Um, if if a couple of us come back next week and we're a little sore because we're digging ourselves out of a hole, blame it on me. Um, but besides that, I appreciate all you guys. Um, I didn't eat too much today. Um, nice. Toodles to me. And, <laughs> and and all right, all right. I have to admit something. It was it wasn't a twelve fifteen meeting. It was lunch at twelve fifteen. Oh. <laughs> he was meeting with a cheeseburger. <laughs> it, was, it was it was a lunch date at twelve fifteen. I had a meeting with this guy named Ronald. Last I, name I, is Ronald. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hold it in anymore. If, if I'm gonna pick out, I'm gonna be It's okay. 
to eat. I came and ate a sandwich in front of Tim. Like I came back. <laughs> we had our meat and I ate uh, half a sandwich. But we appreciate all you guys uh, putting up with our silliness. Um, I do have to say, we put out a lot of information about eBay. I, uh, eBay reselling. I feel like not talking about other channels, but I feel, oh, well, we've been doing that all day. Um, no, all right. Um, I feel like, I feel like you guys, there's so much information that we give you guys, and we enjoy doing it as you can see. So please keep leaving comments. If anybody beats us up in the comments, def just defend us because we're small guys, and we'll see you guys again next week. All right, sorry. Not. Hey, I want to tell everyone thank you for you know joining us. Thank you for watching. Listen, we got we got Leroy to the finish line. Okay, he's already there. He's already mastered the concept. You know what I'm saying? So li listen, showed him once. He's like, "Yo, I got this. I got this." So we're all set on that. Um, listen, you know, uh, you know, other people may tell you the they're the king. Okay, but we're giving you that king information right now okay so hey check us out check us out on tuesdays two for tuesdays okay 9 a.m to noon where you can check us out with listing and loafing on live ask you you know come in there and ask some questions leave a question leave a comment all those things so hey you know we we want to also if you're looking for anything in particular because you know you know hey, leroy said hey promoted listings you know it might be another thing you know that, that's out there that's putting you in a roadblock. So just let us know how we can help, and we can do that. All right, Tim, take us out. We'll give Tim the big screen for Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you guys, as always, for joining us here on the Reseller Information Network. Remember, it's about the journey, ladies and gentlemen. It is about the journey. You know, it's about the Ewoks. And the CB4s and the Obi-Wan Kenobis, the Princess Layla's, and the Darth Vader's, okay? There's going to be dark sides, there's going to be sunny sides. Just make sure you're along for the ride, okay? We appreciate all the love and all the support. Make sure you guys are all members. If you watch this video, go into the description. Click on the link that says One Stop Shop. Come over. Hang out. You can talk with us all day long in there. There's chats. It's a lot of fun. And we sell stuff. And we buy stuff. And we build community. That's what we do here at the Reseller Information Network. Drop some comments in the comment section below. Tell us your favorite moments, your favorite laughs, your questions, your ideas, your complaints. We are your reseller therapists. We love you guys. The most important of all. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about R I N Reseller Information Network. Boo, 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 boo.